Obviously, the mind, remember I said the mind is the dumb servant of the soul. So use your mind to help your soul. In other words, your soul be the driver, your emotions, your passions, your desires be the driver, and use your mind to do the things that it needs to do, like observe. Oh, I was just angry. That's the mind observing. Right? And allow then the connection with what's underneath that anger. You can certainly use your mind to do that. Then it's a tool. But if you use your mind to be dominant and suppress the soul, and control the soul, manipulate the soul, and keep it under, under control, then obviously in the end it's not, you're not going to be in a state of bliss in that state. You see, it's like, this is what we often do with our emotions. The choice to be self-reliant has created everything. As opposed to God-reliant. As opposed to God-reliant. That's the original thing. You could call that, if you want to use a biblical term, Why is because when you become self-reliant, you now need to decide in yourself what is harmonious with love and disharmonious with love and so forth. And of course you're not going to be connected to God. Connection with God is about being God-reliant and, and receiving things from God, receiving truth from God. Self-reliance is about, I want to hold on to my own truth. And many of you here today feel like that, if you're honest with yourself. You want to hold on to your own truth. You don't like what you're hearing. Right? A lot of you don't like what you're hearing, right? You want to hold on to your own truth. You're allowed to. You don't have to listen to this insane man, right? You're allowed to hold on to your own truth. But I'm saying to you, that is the original sin, if you like. That is the original cause of all this disharmony that we have on the earth today was caused by every single person wanting to hold on to their own truth. Right? Let's just change it for a moment. Let's just imagine a world where every single person wants God's truth. How different is that world going to be? It's going to be totally different, isn't it? Totally different. Because now we're not self-reliant, we're God-reliant. So what's going to happen? As we're God-reliant, we're getting closer to God and closer to God. What else happens? We get closer to each other, don't we? Isn't that what happens too? Right? So what's caused all this separation is because each one of us wants to be self-reliant. I want to determine my truth, thank you. I want to determine what happens in my life, thank you. I want to control what's going on in my world. So as all these species were developed on, on the earth, um, it was like, um, a, 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 I mean, a game of survival. It was, a, it was survival instincts. <laughs> Can you feel what's going on inside of your soul at the moment? Um, intellectual sort of trying to work out. There is, there is this feeling of confusion. Can you feel that? Why are you asking all of these intellectual questions? Let yourself feel that. Why? What do you want? I'm thinking back to God and nothing on earth. And... So he had, you know, trying to um, realise God has no emotions, no anger, no... I never said that. <laughs> what did I say? So I'm um, picturing um, all things bright and beautiful, all creatures, great and small, just everything absolutely harmoniously blissful on yep. earth until that survival instinct came and they all started eating each other. No, <laughs> until man came and started eating them. <laughs> That's what happened. Like, what I'm saying is, God is totally emotional. Totally an emotional being. 
God is not, definitely not, detuned from emotion. What do you think love is? Isn't it an emotion? Yes, no, what it is. I'm not talking about the beautiful emotions, I'm talking about the negative emotions. No, God doesn't have any negative emotions, what you would classify as negative emotions. God doesn't feel rage or anger. Why would, why would she? Everything she creates is perfect. Would you be angry if everything was perfect? That's why I was picturing that. You asked me a question, and I was actually picturing to the, the beginning, the creation. Yep. Everything and was everything perfect. everything was bright and beautiful, creatures. And this is what created everything different. And there was no negativity until the survival instinct. No. It's not the survival instinct. It was this. It was this. Well, that's what I'm thinking. No, well, they're not the same thing. So, for what survival instinct? There is like I'm saying, everything is based around self-reliance. That things have gone bad. Everything is based around me wanting to hold on to my truth, you wanting to hold on to yours, so Joe Blow wanting to hold on to his, and we're all willing to disagree and argue and even fight and even go to war for it. Right? That's what's caused what we've got now. Right? If we all became God life, what would happen? I would have to give up my truth. You would have to give up your truth. And we would all eventually have God's truth. Does that mean we're all robots still? No, because we've all got different personalities, unique. And in amongst this beautiful, large universe God created, you have the ability to do anything you want, harmonious with love. And in fact, once you've got rid of that, as the biggest emotion, you will want to do everything harmonious with love. And you'll enjoy that. I work in a secondary school and there are many students who are coming with the attitude of what I want is important and I know my own mind. And I've seen this come up and make demands because that's what they know to be right. So this is all coming from that self-reliance stuff. Yeah, and be careful. A person who is at one with God knows exactly what they want. But what they want is harmonious with love. The problem with many of these students that are coming up to you is they want things, but it's not harmonious with love. It's because of all this emotional damage added to it that they come up and they say, I want to do this and blow the rest or whatever. Right? But the truth is that if it's harmonious with love, if they're allowed, to, if they're allowed to want what they want, you're allowed to want what you want. You are. Could that be taught to be assertive and stand up for their own rights? So that's where... To see a person at one with God, and again I'm going to refer back to that all the time, is you won't feel like you need to stand up for your rights. Thank you. Going simply because um, a friend's just asked twice for a little bit. No worries. Thank you. Bye bye. Anybody can leave by the way, it's getting pretty late actually. What's your opinion on 2012 and... The golden age. Uh, can I answer that tomorrow? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's quarter to six. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 I just have to mention that with self reliance, it could be really interesting. Many people have come to be self reliant because it's become a, a way of thinking uh, that's normal and so they're not in touch with their feelings. Then, if you come to actually accept that, has been a lot of cause for lots of terrible things happening and ways of being, then you would have to go through a lot of very hard emotions around guilt and shame, maybe, I don't know, but just different emotions to say, wow, this, this has happened through self-reliance, um, I haven't been connected to God, so therefore um, abandonment of that. Yep. Um, and a grief and many, many, so it would be very hard to let go of that too. This is the hardest emotion to let go of in yeah. the The reason why it was because it was the very first multi-generational emotion. Mm -hmm. The people you know of as Adam and Eve, who were, the real name is Ammon and Amen, they chose self-reliance over God-reliance. It was the very first bit of emotional damage that got passed on to the next generation, this emotion. And so it's very deep within your core. Very deep within your core is this desire to want to control everything around you to your own pleasure. <laughs> right? That's very deep within your core. And it will be an emotion that comes up for you a lot of times in your progression.